Hello everyone. The task here is determining the designated router and backup designated router. In this activity, you will examine DR and BDR roles and watch the roles change when there is a change in the network. You will then modify the priority to control the roles and force a new election. Finally, you will verify routers are filling the desired roles. Part 1. Examine DR and BDR changing roles. Step 1. Wait until the Amber link lights turn green. Step 2. Verify the current OSPF neighbor states. The designated router is RC. Backup designated router is RB. Step 3. Turn on IPOSPF adjacency debugging. Step 4. Disable the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface on RC. The new designated router is RB, and the new backup designated router is RA. Step 5. Restore the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface on RC. When re-enabling the connection, the designated routes do not change, the DR is still RB, as well as the BDR being RA. Each time we shut down the interface of a DR, the current BDR will become the new DR. Step 6. Disable the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface on RB.
RC is the new designated router, and RA is the new backup designated router. Step 7. Restore the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface on RB. The route didn't change. Each time we shut down the interface of DR, the current PDR will become the new DR. Step 8. Turn off debugging. Enter the command on debugglow on RA and RB to disable debugging. Part 2. Modify OSPF Priority in 4 Selections Step 1. Configure OSPF priorities on each router. 200 for RA, 100 for RB, and 1 the default priority for RC. Step 2. Force an election by reloading the switch. The command clear IPROSPF process can also be used on the routers to reset the OSPF process. Step 3. Verify DR and BDR elections were successful. The designated router is now RA at 192.168.31.11 IP address. The backup designated router is now RB at 192.168.31.22 IP address. That's all. Thank you for watching.